Hi everyone, welcome to Nicholas Workshop. So yeah, just sitting here in the uh, workshop in late December. Just come downstairs for a bit of a warm up in front of the uh, the sawdust burner. Um, so as you've seen from the titles, it's a new machine day. Um, I'm not too sure. Well, I guess it falls into the classifications of a of a machine, but um, but anyway, this uh, let me. Uh, I'll take a walk upstairs and run the titles. Well. Um, well, I'm on my way and then uh, I'll catch you upstairs and we can have a look at what I purchased. Okay, back in a minute. Welcome back guys. So, um, yeah, I've, what I've got is a three ton um, arbor press. No, so, as I say, I'm not too sure whether you would class that as a machine, but, uh, but anyway, new to the workshop. So um, I bought this from a chap in um, about 40 miles away from my home. Um, his name's Andrew, he makes jewellery. He's a really nice chap. We had a bit of a you know, chat while we were there or when I went to collect it. And he kindly helped me lift it into the car because it was uh, it's pretty heavy and um, yeah, yeah. So um, I got it at a, a reasonable price. Well, no, it was a good price really. I, I was happy to pay it. Um, and it was fairly close to home. So um, I think I'll probably stick on handheld as I'll just show you around it. So what I've started to do is always leave the block of wood there just in case, but you can, so with the three ton, you, they're a bit bigger, you can wind, you can wind the, uh, I don't know what you call it, the, the uh, oh, I don't know. Anyway, you can wind the pressing bit up and this has got a, the ratchet handle so if I pull the handle down you can see the ratchet going and down we go so it's all pretty uh, pretty good it's obviously um, as you can see from all the the finish it's all um, made by one of the offshore companies I'm sure I don't think uh, um, and it's a bit um, when you look at the the castings, it's all a bit sort of uh, minimally finished. Um, but nevertheless, it, it, it works, you know, it's just my crazy sort of uh, OCD, you might call it, that would love all this to be smooth and everything. So I'm gonna do a little bit of filing and, and stuff and give it a, a coat of paint just, just to make it what I want to do, like with all my machines, it's more about just being happy to use them um, and not just think, oh, you know, that's not done very well. So if I can um, do a little bit of work to just to make it, uh, well, yeah, just to make me happy to use it, then uh, that's fine. And uh, in reality, I'm not in production here or anything. I'm just tinkering around. So. Uh, what I like to do is what I like to do. So, um, so I've taken the so. Well, I'm sure everyone knows how our professor works. So I've got that 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 obviously came with it. I've given it started to giving it a bit of a clean up. Took all uh, the burrs off and um, uh, some paint. Um, what I planned. I've got quite a few plans for this. I've got another piece of metal that I had in had in the workshop, which is fairly close to to the size so I've got an idea to be able to use to make another one another one of these uh, plates so it's it's uh, fairly close so it weighs like anything so that's pretty good um, so one of the projects I'd like to do with this is well yeah yeah one of them is to make sure the the bottom here is square because I've had all this I've had all this apart because I can't control myself and I need to know how things work um, and this isn't square it, it's pretty close but it's not quite um, so what I want to do is uh, make it square and then um, then I'm going to drill a hole in the middle and go go up in there and then basically make inserts to go so actually sorry drill a hole in the middle and one in there which is threaded with a grub screw and then what we'll do is um, 
we turn up some inserts that can go in there and then you hold it with the grub screw so effectively what you then can put in various I've lost you on the camera various inserts to do whatever you whatever the, the job you want to do so you can make sort of various pressing tools now I know it's only three ton and basically it all it all comes down to how hard I can pull that handle but um, but because it's high and I'm sure I probably can hang on it so I should be alright so yeah this is what I'm quite keen to do um, any ideas on because it it's really about how I'm I mean I'm not sure how to approach the machining of it because I think I could put it sort of where's the, where's the camera put it that way in the uh, on the mill and then mill across the you know go across the end sort of thing um, but I can't obviously stand it up because it would be pretty impossible to keep it clamped. Uh, I think probably you could stand it, you know, height-wise. The capacity on the um, on the door Westbury would do it, but I don't think I could get it square or to, um, stable enough to do. Um, I did even think about putting it, setting it up in the lathe, and then putting. Um, a, a, like a milling cutter in the um, in the truck in a collet and, and do it that way but um, but anyway yeah if you've got any suggestions definitely uh, let me know um, there's a lot of the ideas of I can't remember the guy's name but there's a there's a video on or um, well, there's a couple on YouTube that, that um, give me the ideas of how to the various inserts that I can make for that so in a weird way I'm quite quite enthused about this one because I think it'd be a nice little tool to have um, and then obviously uh, if I'm only pressing things um, you know there's only a limited space here so being Adam make another one that would be pretty good um, yeah so I've had all this apart and you can see I've started again I can't control myself started attacking it with a file just to get off some of the uh, the stuff. I only just put it back on. I haven't by any means finished, but it was just to make this video. And you can see on the castings, you can see there how it's all uh, pretty rough. When, as I say, it doesn't make much difference to uh, well, make any difference to using it, but uh, cheer me up. So that's that's what we're here for. Um, so where am I going to put it? Um, it's a bit lethal here with the lamp or the light so it, I don't I don't want it on this bench because I use this bench quite a bit and having that stuck on there so my idea if I swing you around here it's a good old work mate now this is this isn't the type that I actually want to use I've got another one I thought it was in the workshop but it must be at home it's a I think it's the model 301 so basically all this all this stuff doesn't stick out but my goal is to have it here between the two doors and you can see I've marked out uh, the footprint so from here to here is 14 inches and then what I was going to do is make a make the stand so it goes just either side of the door frame so that gives it a little bit more stability that way um, but obviously it, the footprint will be smaller so it won't uh, get in the way of the doors too much but that's the basic way I want it want to have it because I think what it then gives me is the ability to I've got space out of the side and once that that footprint shrunk a little bit what we'll do is it, it won't get in the way so um, I think that will be a, an ideal situation um, for it to, to go in um, and what this does, so this 14 inch from here, here to here, if I go back, we go back to the press, go around here, what that gives us, that's, if we take that off, what that gives us is 14 inches from there to there, so basically what we then have is that bit, that I will make it so the, the base comes out, but this, we need to have this um, uh, free, you know, so nothing under here. So the wood, the wood that I 
put on the here will will come out here and then it'll be curved in and then that one will come out so what we then have is if we're pressuring something it has the ability to drop through and uh, I think I told my hilltop machine shop he's got something underneath just to catch them I think he's got um, a load of bubble wrap in a, in a container so that will work I'll do something similar to to what Tom's done um, yeah so that's really uh, that's really ran my little uh, arbor press my new machine day um, the other thing is what you can do with these is you tighten these up and that that puts a more resistance on there and when you take this plate off all there is is another plate that pushes against here now it's when you assemble it is pretty pot luck whether it moves whether it gets well yeah I mean I don't think it will really cause any harm but I think there's a better way to um, to sort that out so uh, yeah um, so I'm gonna modify that a little bit to uh, make that a bit better so yeah that's the other press so what I've been doing is like with all my projects I sort of sit here draw out the um, like I've been starting to think about the the presses or the tool the different tools I want to be able to fit in here so then I can start to get some dimensions have a little think nothing happens faster than the Nacular's workshop um, as you all know um, but what we do is so then I draw it out on here then I create a shopping list on that one then I just start my search to try and get bits and pieces at a, a reasonable price and it sort of works if you're not in a giant hurry you know I, I've um, I've been searching for a press for about a year and a half and uh, you know then eventually one pops up so it's just a matter of being patient so yeah so that's about it really so um, I'm going to get on with this have a, have a little drink and um, yeah and then we'll we bring you along as I, I've got some various updates um, I'm quite keen to get this one done really because it's not not really much to do but it'd just be nice to have that have that functionality so if you've got any ideas of what I could um, different press tools I could make um, uh, then um, then that would be great you know please add them to the comments and then uh, I'll see what I can do yeah yeah okay so as always uh, many thanks for watching um, stay happy strong and healthy and I'll see you in the next one cheerio